Good morning, everyone. That was not very enthusiastic. We're going to try this again. It's the blessing of the animals, our favorite Sunday. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That sounds more like it. <laughs> Oh, it is great to see you all. Welcome to Buxton United Methodist Church. Today is our annual blessing of the animals. I, I know for me, and I hope for all of us, it's my favorite service of the year. <laughs> so it's great fun to be out. On the very back of your bulletin packet uh, is the announcements. These are the announcements I had at the time when I created the bulletin. Okay, so if there are extra, we'll add them. Do we have any celebrations this morning? Birthdays or anniversaries? Yes, Jana. Um, I would like to um, let everyone know that it was Jim and Linda's 60th anniversary this week. And um, also we'll have cake downstairs after a 60th anniversary cake if you would like to come down. Yeah, special yes. fellowship. Happy anniversary, Jim and Linda. Let's sing for them. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. All right. We want to give a huge thank you to our guys who have been working so hard on the playground. It's looking fantastic, isn't it? Yes. Sure. Monday. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, Monday night. I will be there with you. I'm not much help. Yeah, I'll five be there. <laughs> so, Wednesday, Bible so, study at 10. So Monday and Wednesday, 5 30 here. Monday and Wednesday yeah. this week at 5 30. And then possibly okay. next Saturday morning. And what? Possibly next Saturday possibly. morning. Stay tuned. Okay. Wednesday, Bible study at 10 a.m. Next Sunday is the start of Sunday school. Hip, hip, hooray, right? Yay. We're excited about that. Hip, hip. And big, big news, community block party will be Sunday, October 13th from noon until 2. Come join the fun. We're having a free lunch, popcorn, face painting, lots of games, and so much more. Bring friends, especially those with children, to celebrate our new community playground. It will be ready by then. So, we're excited about that. Any other announcements? I think there was one for choir. Yes, well, for one thing, next Sunday is our first senior choir. October 19th. 3 to 345. The Orions have got it. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. <laughs> we got it all. <laughs> 3 to 415. Okay. 3 to 415. Riverside, if you go on Route 25 west toward New Hampshire, go through Cornish and you'll get to it. It'll be on your right. It's on Keyser Falls. You cannot miss it. No, it's going the opposite direction. She's coming down and doing all the little churches out in this area. It's in Porter. In Porter. And when you get to Porter from this side, you go all the way up Porter um, Village, and it's at the end of the village. Okay. We'll get you better, good, solid directions. Okay. All right. We got a little time on that. All right. Anything else that we need to lift up? Then let's go before the Lord our God and prepare our hearts for worship. We have no prelude today, but I do think we should ring that bell. Maybe our Ian, who built it, will run right up there, scoot on up, and, uh, and do it. Yay! And while he's doing that, 
For love can work great magic if you give it but a chance. Stooped heads will rise, old dreams come true, and broken hearts will dance. This story is no different from many I have heard. It teaches of the power of touch and gently spoken words. The young girl, now a woman, with children of her own, still loves this dusty donkey she first brought to her home. You see, the donkey symbolizes critters, critters everywhere that never get to share their gifts or know that humans care. Through history, their lives have been all servants, toil, and scorn. A million miles of pain laid out along the path they've worn. It doesn't have to be like that. The answer's in our God's hand. All animals can share the blessing God's birth gave to man. Just take the time to figure out the debt that they have due. Each dusty, lonely donkey with our love can start undo. And love does it for not just the animals. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. All right, here's the test of my abilities. <laughs> Our next song is a little Jamaican folk song. You might see we have donkeys kind of as a little ribbon running through the theme today. It's called Tingaleo. It is a Jamaican folk song, and it it is fun. Okay. <laughs> He saw the angel of the Lord and lay down under Balaam. 
he was angry and beat it with his staff. Then the Lord opened the donkey's mouth, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you to make you beat me these three times? Balaam answered the donkey, You have made a fool of me. If only I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. The donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your own donkey, which you have always ridden to this day? Have I been in the habit of doing this to you? sent ahead went and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They replied, The Lord needs it. The words of God for the people of God. Thank you, Renee. Well, today we are talking about needs. We have a need of animals. Our cats keep the rodents away, right? We're thankful for that, aren't we? Our dogs offer us protection and comfort. And many animals provide us with food to eat. I would also say, though, that the most important thing is that our pets offer us unconditional love. We might forget to put food in the bowl or to keep the water dish full. We're always forgiven. We're always loved, no matter what, and no matter how many mistakes we made. And they are a beautiful reflection and reminder for us that that is exactly how God's love is for us. We make the mistakes. God loves us and forgives us. Well, as we talk about needs today, I thought we'd play a little game because we love to do things different, especially on this Sunday. So, you all remember the game Family Feud, right? There's two teams. One question each team needs to be prepared to get the top answers to from surveys of the populace. Well, our survey was the question, what are the top items we have need of? And these answers come from the survey found on Google search. Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's right. So we have the top 12 items we are in need of that do not include food, shelter, or clothing. Those are, that's different. Those are givens, okay? What things in everyday life then do we have need of? Okay, be thinking about that because I'm going to split you into two teams. We're going to take the front row all the way over and we're going to include Ann and Frank. Okay? You are team dog. <laughs> Everybody else, you're team cat. <laughs> and we're going to play it slightly different than the traditional way of playing Family Feud. We're going to alternate and see if we can come up with all of them before getting three strikes, okay? 
You ready for that? I see a lot of you looking really stressed over this. It, it, it is not meant to be something at all to stress you out. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it's a game, okay? It's not a school test. <laughs> we don't need test anxiety. Uh, you're going to get treats, yeah. <laughs> we have cake after for Jim and Linda's anniversary. All right, team number one, team dog. What brave soul has an answer for us for one of the top items that we might need? Money. Money. <laughs> you know, that should be on the top 12, but on the Google search, it was not. Uh, you're kidding. <laughs> so that's a strike one. Now we go to team cat. I know, that, that should have been number one. Love. What is it? Love. Well, we're off and running here. That is not on Google search either. Of course not, it's Google search. This is not going the way I have planned. We might need four or five strikes each. Back to team dog. Okay, I got one, you got one? Trust. You guys are getting way too deep. Items, items, things. Okay, a pet. That should be two. We are really betting a thousand today. Back to team. Yeah. Oh, hello. Cell phone. What was it? Cell phone. Cell phone. Oh. The cell phone. Team Cat gets one. That was number one. That was number one on the Google search. Number one was a cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. I know. This team dog. You're thinking. You're all thinking for deep and <laughs> philosophical. Get a little more realistic. What are the other things that you might need? Back to Team Dog. Well, they already said that. I told you, no food, shelter, or housing. Yeah. You're still way... Uh, you guys are way too philosophical. Things, items, stuff you can pick up. Secular. What was that? Secular things. Secular things. Yes, secular things. Yeah, right, everyday items is Whoa. what we're talking about. No, Whoa. it's not our car yet. Oh, and it, and it, it's not. And no food, shelter, or clothing. Oh. <laughs> you guys really don't listen. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Right. Any item that you can think of. Okay, TV, I heard first. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to really have to have a lot of strikes. <laughs> Team Cat. A car or a transportation. Great answer, but let, I'm going to give it to you. Keys was on the search. We need keys for it, so I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> I know. I know you're too smart. All right, I'm going to give you guys a huge hint. Think back to the start of the pandemic. What did everyone make a run for? Toilet paper! Oh, yeah! Toilet paper! Yeah! Soap! That's where she was going. Okay! Oh, that's a pain. That's right! That's right! Okay, back to Team Cat. Soap. That should be there, but it wasn't on Google search. <laughs> Everybody wants to stink. Soap. Oh, soap. Yeah. We'll do only two more, one for each team. What do you think? Wi-Fi. Uh, that should be on it, too. I, I, I'm really disappointed in survey sense. Okay. Boy, Over here, familiar. let's try one more, and I'm going to read you the list. A boat. A boat. All right, I'm going to read them for you. Uh, a cell phone, a can opener, uh, okay. a toothbrush, <laughs> a toilet toothpaste. paper, writing utensils, keys, Towels, water bottles, wallets and purses, light bulbs, a flashlight, and a first aid kit. Oh, okay. I, still I don't know. I think doors. money might fall under the wallet. Yeah, it might. It might. It might. I I mean, think why do you need a wallet a if you don't have? List, <laughs> list. It's you don't always have... the danger when you decide to play a game. Everything can really go awry very quickly. <laughs> Things that we need. They're things that are 
useful to us, right? Did you ever stop to think that God has needs? God has needs. God, the almighty, all-knowing, all-holy, who created the universe, has one need. God needs each and every one of us. God, who had need of a donkey to speak to Balaam in the Old Testament, and another donkey to carry our Lord and Savior when he was hailed as king on Palm Sunday. If God had need of a donkey, how much more does God need each and every one of us? There is a saying that I love, we are the hands and the feet of Christ our Lord. That's what being the church is all about. Yes, we gather to worship, but the church is to serve in the name of our Lord. God needs our hands and our feet to be active serving in our communities, in our states, in our nation, and in our world. As John Wesley, our founder, said, the world is my parish. Our God needs us to be servants to all people. So people of God, let us never forget. Let's always remember that no matter who we are, no matter if you're a kid of only eight years old, or if we're 80 years old, men, women, and children, the Lord has need of each and every one of us. So let's serve in our Lord's name and all God's people said. Amen. Okay, let me catch up and see where we are at. Uh, we have our next poem. Bill is going to read it for us. It's called The Donkey Again, this time by G. K. With monstrous head and sickening cry, and ears like errant wings, creation's walking parody of all four-footed things, the tattered outlaw of the earth of ancient crooked will, starved, scourged, deriding, I am dumb, I keep my secret still. Fools, for I also had my hour, one far fierce hour and sweet. There was a shout about my ears, <laughs> and who have we here? Casey. How are you, Casey? Oh, no. Oh, no. Casey, God bless you. And may those cups stay far away from you. Thank you for the joy you give and the love you give to your sister. Amen. You got, we got a treat for you, Casey. Look. Look. 
<laughs> I saw Ezzy over here.
uh, benediction, which is a uh, blessing from St. Francis of Assisi. Not to hurt our humble brethren is our first duty to them, but to stop there is not enough. We have a higher mission to be of service to them wherever they require. Amen. Go forth, be blessed by your pets, and be a blessing to them. Amen. Join us.